Welcome into your tarot card reading for today, Sunday, July 21st, 2024. And these are general tarot card messages for you. Do listen well and take the messages that apply to you. If you don't apply, let it fly. Alright, so thanks for liking this video, sharing the messages with those you love, and subscribing to the channel. Much love to you. And let's get started. So welcome in angels, spirits, guides, <laughs> beloved ancestors. Let us see what the love energies for cancers are today. Alright, let's see. What are love messages for... Ooh, I just glimpsed twin flame. You could be dealing with a Gemini, truly. I glimpsed this twin flame energy and you're on someone's mind. I hear unrest. It is as if this person cannot get you off of their mind, sleep and thinking about you. This somehow is giving me an energy that you need to clean your energy from for some reason. Yeah, this like, even though it is the twin flame, real true love energy, like I do feel like someone is truly loving you, even missing you. I hear something with a PR word like pro, P-R-O d possibly like prodigy or something about a child or maybe someone wants to come back anywho the energy is giving for me i feel like you should somehow figure out how to clean your energy off this energy um i don't know why okay uh, and i love you yeah just glimpse this toxic devil card too so possibly that's why i feel like there were some attachments or binds that took place or maybe someone was trying to like bind to you some way shape or form in love energy okay or someone wants to i hear secrets in some way or maybe a crush possibly all right deny um but you don't know and something reminds me of jesus all right let's see maybe someone's name is jess jesse or just something Okay, so let's see. Messages for Zodiac Sign, Cancer in Love, Angel, Spirits, Guides. Well, there's a lot going on. You may have a lot of people that's giving you attention or that are interested in you. So we have... Alright, so we have the Three of Wands energy. There is someone that is waiting for you. So I hear Prodigy again, or Prod. Like someone is waiting for you, looking for you, and I hear the word lost. So let us see. I hear gambling. So someone may be taking risks in some way, shape, or form. Alright, but they don't want to or they'd like to in some way, shape, or form. Alright, um, maybe this is someone that is trying to defend you, speak up for you, or go after you even though they know that other people are also interested in you all right and this person i feel like they're very serious about you this person could be aries leo fire sign sagittarius yeah they are watching you i'm feeling like i hear the goat or goat now this person want to come through all right so we see a lot of attraction competition standing up standing on your own two feet something about father someone wants to come in and meet be the main person in your life so whether masculine feminine ace of wands yeah someone is um fighting for a position in your life and this could be a major fire sign I hear something about major daddy issues and a part of you in love may also be feeling like you care a lot about what other people think sometimes look look you see what I'm saying see what I'm saying insecurities um, so you could have certain type of trauma that you're dealing with that is making you attract certain people to you in certain some way shape or form like these people that are attracted to you because of trauma they feel like they have what you need like they are feeling to themselves like they can feel your need but you need to sit with yourself that's why i was saying earlier there's an energy that you need to clear up because someone is trying to bond with you but this bonding could be coming off of trauma that you don't want to repeat it's like a cycle that you don't want to go over you want to end this you want to um start a new story write a new chapter start a family be happy be self-loving do what is self-loving you don't want to go back to just living through trauma maybe traumas of feeling needy feeling neglected not that this is negative it's not negative to be needy right i'm not saying that but if it is not serving you or if you there are other words to use maybe we'll find them later on now there is someone major in your life something about major okay that is thinking about you daddy is the word i hear 
and this person may be someone that comes on comes to your mind sometimes all right this could be a leo or capricorn this could be your yeah, love this is this is a robot or a lion or something like this i love you oh my god this is how i feel that could be a message that someone sent through to you just so you know like just so you know cancer how someone is feeling for you all right in real life but i also feel like do guard your energy or like at least be self-aware and be present know when it is when you are operating from trauma instead of real self-love know when someone is giving you attention because of this trauma that you may be embodying in some way other than um when it is and like for, in comparison to when it is from a true loving spirit i need you to truly love yourself and know that you are worthy of love because there's someone that truly loves you coming around in real life and i'm feeling like you may not believe this because you may question yourself for it but this person in your eyes you're like the most cutest innocentest beautifulest regalist little innocent pure princess or prince or thingy to them you're like they just want to pick you up like so there ain't nothing like with this with you <laughs> like there ain't nothing to it it like there is nothing to it ain't no questions we nothing to talk about there is no trauma here is what i'm feeling like like this person so imagine if um this is giving me the and i'm seeing someone picking maybe a, a baby up out of a cradle it's that like maybe like from the energy of a grandmother essence it's like oh it's just pure real love no thoughts no attachments no insecurities no trauma bonding this is giving me the energy of someone like like say a parent really neglected to care for the child in some way and they get another chance to do it knowing that in the past life they didn't do it properly now they see what they didn't do so like i'm seeing this vision of someone just going back to the cradle and just loving someone purely innocently anywho yeah so i love you so this is what is going on in love for you so you may be seeing someone from the past you're also psychic honestly you're telepathic in real life you can travel i'm feeling and hearing and maybe this is saying that because someone may be thinking about you telepathically if someone wants to reach out to you someone may be trying to send you messages as if you can read their mind because let me tell you what this person is thinking that you would reach out to them okay they wish they that you knew that they want you to reach out to them eight of cups okay in the reverse so. all right oh my god i feel like i was talking a lot <laughs> yeah this is your energy queen i'm um, empress i was about to say queen of cups sagittarius you may be dealing with a sagittarius a queen of cups sagittarius energy um there's someone that mm, i don't know maybe coming around to you magician um for some of you someone might have um tried to do some type of uh, i hear ignorant um like but i hear backfire some type of uh i hear indignation something like with the magician card like a spell that was someone karmic that that's this is something that happened in your past though you know like a, a time ago but the energy the residue of it may still be within you going back to you cleansing your energy i think you're gonna be fine i love you really and truly you're gonna you're gonna be fine there's something about grass you know how goats the goats are some animals eat grass as, like in, instinctively maybe when the moon is something yeah there is an ex and there is a new person too this ex i, I want to laugh because the queen of swords energy is laughter as well but this ex is um i wanted to laugh but it's because it, it felt funny to tell you that this ex want to come back in your life but you are blocking them it just felt funny how it felt like comical like i'm watching a sitcom where this ex wants to come back but you're blocking them Ugh, like there's no chance it's i don't know why that is funny it's just kind of funny to feel like how the the feeling of them wanting to come back versus <laughs> how you are not even interested like queen of swords energy you're blocking this person 
but so that's why you don't even maybe you haven't been feeling about your ex or talking about them for a while but they've still been um, very very into you so that's how much you're blocking this person emotionally physically spiritually i think you're doing a good thing by clearing up your energy becoming more self-aware becoming keen on your feelings and standing up for yourself speaking up for yourself having boundaries expectations of yourself as well what to expect of yourself what to expect of those that are around you all right so take it easy